Now on to the third segment. Um, we can talk about the challenges faced and like advice for anyone uh, wanting to um, have a career and still play football. So um, what challenges do you face when juggling football and career? Mm, I would say, I mean, I, I think I briefly, uh, we, we did briefly discuss this just now as well. Uh, it's really just managing your time and also managing expectations, actually. What do you want to achieve out of your uh, footballing uh, journey? Do you intend to, you know, play at a very high level? You want to play at a very leisure level or you want to play in a, situ in a setting where you are somewhat competitive but it's not quite at that level that you used to play in school, for example, which is probably uh, me for now. Mm. So I think you need to have uh, reasonable expectations of what uh, you can do, uh, but don't shy away from it entirely because you're worried. I mean, of course, I, 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 I too had that fear as a, as a student, especially because and I think the fear uh, was the most real in A-levels because they said your A-level grades will determine what uni you go to, which will determine the career for the rest of your life. And that, 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 that was at the back of my mind all the time. La. It was just one exam. Eh? If, you, if you mess it up, it's really uh, good luck mm. to you. So manage your expectations. Know what you want to do. Um, at the same time, don't shy away from trying. Uh, like what I mentioned earlier, uh, I do believe that there are a lot of things that we need. We don't need the full, you know, extend the time for us to do. So if let's say you have eight hours a day and you're a student and you're studying, uh, maybe just reserve about one and a half hours of that to pursue your 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 sports, you know. And then the rest of the day you spend with your family, and then the, your revisions. Uh, I think that that uh, would help. Like, at least it, it helped for me because for myself, as I mentioned, I'm not intrinsically motivated. So only, it's only when I schedule in something and I'm like, oh dear, I don't have time. I better get down to doing my work. And actually that made me more uh, productive and efficient. Lah. And um, so I think if, if, if you are interested in pursuing an, any sport or uh, you, you, you can, you know, <laughs> try it out at, with my mindset <laughs> you just do it and and then uh you 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 in a sense it forces you to do it lah because when you schedule in something it makes you more efficient for for the rest of the day so actually it can be done i i also must caveat that i i do think that uh i have a an understanding boss lah mm. so uh it's not like i'm expected to be on standby 24 hours, seven days a week. They, they do respect our weekends. I mean, certainly there are certain times when there's no choice, you have to deal with the matters over the weekend because there's an urgent injunction, for example, or it's just uh, you're rushing deadlines, clients uh, give you further instructions and you realize, oh, we have to tweak it a little bit. So there are those days for sure. Um, but I, 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 I do appreciate that my my bosses are uh, very reasonable and understanding. Lah. And so they do uh, sort of give us this time off for your own personal matters. And I, I, I do appreciate that. Lah. Okay, so thanks so much for sharing about like your career and football. And thank you everyone else for tuning in to our career series brought to you by Soccer Girl Goals and Passion FC. We hope that this series can show people that playing football and having passion for football can provide opportunities for you both within and also beyond football. So thank you so much and bye-bye. Thanks, Steph, for having me. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye.